In this video, we are going to create login function. So we are going to create a function to check and see whether the user has logged in. So if the user has logged in, we need to redirect the user to the index page. If not, then we need to direct the user to the register page. So this one be our function. This one be login. I will check so if it sets what is set the user ID so if it sets the user ID then what we will do is just we just return it else if it's not set then we'll turn what first so what am I trying to do I'm trying to check and see whether User has login or the user has registered his account. So if the user has registered his account, then we have this one. Then login the user. Else with n false. Okay. So now this is what we have. Okay. So now go to your register.php. Copy this one for me. The index page. Remove this one and copy it, paste it here. So we will here, we'll check if log log in. So if this is true, then what we'll do is just we'll just dollar user ID. We'll take the user ID, then dollar underscore session user ID. This user ID is what we are getting from the one that we set. That's this one inside the session, right? Okay, so this is okay. Okay, so over here we have several ways of doing it. Yes, paste it here. But if it's not set, we don't want the person to be on the same page. So not this an exclamation mark not. So if it's not set, then we direct colon colon to to the register page. So meaning that what I'm trying to do if it has not logged in, then we direct copy this one from here. Go to the register page. Over here, is it here? If the user has logged in, then direct the user towards the index page. Okay, so now let's go back. Let's try to access the register page. So as you can see, we are not able to access the register page because the user has logged in. So we know logic has worked fine. Okay. Let's go to the PHP. Okay, and over here just echo dollar user ID. Okay, so now let's refresh it. So to so meaning that our logic has worked fine. So before we end this session, I want us to do something on our login page. Okay. So go to your register, scroll down. Copy this one from here. Copy this one from here. Then over here, just paste it here. Nice. Now the next thing too is this one. So copy this one from here. Copy it from here. Over here, just paste it here. Now again, scrap. Copy everything from here. Why? Just paste it here. Okay. For now, let's comment on this one. For now, comment on it so far. For now, okay. 
go. Mm. Yeah, this one will still be the same. This one will be the reset. For now, let's comment on it. Let, let's leave it down. We don't need. Uh, we don't need this one. Uh, we need this one. Yeah, we don't need this one. We don't need to check for whether the email length. And we don't need to check for this one too. This one too. We don't need this one. We don't need this one. Yeah. Okay, so this one here, yeah, we don't need this one. Okay, right. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so this one here, yeah, okay. So, go to your reg register.php. Let's copy one. Let's copy this one then. Maybe all these changes. Visit here. Okay. This is just we need this one for this is just value. Then visit here. Okay. So this one copy this one from here. Visit here. As for the password, no. The user can still type we type the password right mm. so this one over here will be this one and this one so with this one we don't need we don't have this one and this one right correct so let's remove this one from here okay yeah so now I'll comment on this one okay Now well, let's go to try to access the login page. Click on it. Okay. So that's it for this video. The next video we are going to log in our user. That's great functionality to log in our user.